Hi there, Simon here from Perfect Pools. We're talking about rainwater in your pool and pool maintenance in winter. And for the next four videos, we're going to focus on winter pool care and things that you can do to set yourself up to have an easier pool maintenance experience through summertime. So let's focus on rainwater and if you can use it or not. Look, there's a few things that you can do with rainwater. Let's just start with the negative thing and the, and, the, and the stuff that you need to keep in the back of your head. Number one is when it rains and you feed that water through your roof or from your roof um, via gutter or, or pipes into your pool, keep in mind that if the pool's dirty, like bird droppings and leaves and whatever dust that collects on the, in the gutters and on the roof, that's going to end up in your swimming pool. So make sure that you put some sort of a filter, uh, maybe a stocking or something in front of the, the hose that leads into your pool. Even better, if you can actually feed that water into a rainwater tank and then treat it there with some chlorine. And my team in my offices or my shops can, uh, can assist you with that. And then leave it a day or two and then feed that water back into the pool with a hose pipe or something like that. So that's the, the, probably the best way of, of, of doing it. Uh, another thing that you need to keep in mind is that when your rainwater is normally in Cape Town or the West Coast area uh, quite acidic. So after every rainstorm that you feed the water into your pool, make sure that you check the water quality, make sure that you've added enough chlorine in to compensate for that dirty water coming from the roof. Even if your roofs are clean, there is always going to be a bit of dirt that comes with it. So make sure that there's um, chlorine or oxidizer in the pool to, to eliminate that or combat that, and then make sure that your pH is balanced. Remember, if your pH is not balanced, nothing's really going to work. And the water, rainwater is mostly acidic. The positive things, and this is probably the things that I want you to focus on more, and that's why um, I, I, I do recommend rainwater to some extent, and I'll tell you why. Throughout the last year or two, a lot of people have been using groundwater and water from boreholes and, and, and all kinds of water, different water supplies. And there's, at the end of the day, nothing better than clean water for your swimming pool. I would always recommend municipal water, but it's not always possible, and people want to try and be um, you know, water neutral. So use the rainwater to dilute the old water out of your pool throughout this winter period. So the moment it rains, feed the water into the pool, but the moment the rain stops, give it a good backwash and rinse. Um, it cleans your filter sand out, it cleans, it dilutes some of the old water and you'll top up with new fresh water. And then afterwards just balance the water with chlorine, pH, alkalinity increaser. Um, but the best is obviously to analyze it and make sure that the water is balanced. But the main thing is, is to dilute the old water and if it's groundwater water or boro water just that much better then the, the last thing i wanted to mention is the fact that you clean your filter sand quite often a, a lot of people don't are not backwashing enough um, and a part of the backwash procedure is not just to clean your filter sand out it's actually to dilute some water out and refresh the water or put fresh water back into the pool so that's it. If it's raining and you know that it's going to rain a day or two in advance, make sure that you, to uh, you backwash your pool very well. Um, if the water level is slightly low, leave it like that. Feed the rainwater in and then once it's done, make sure that you test the water. Make sure that the water uh, chemistry is right and you'll be set. And if you can do that two or three or four times for the whole winter period, you'll be set up for a really easy pool maintenance experience through summertime. From my side, have a great day. Don't forget to like our Facebook page and leave a comment below if you find the videos um, helpful or not. Ask a question, um, give a thumbs up, whatever, just to let us know that you enjoy the videos. From my side, have a great day and bye-bye.